Hello, beloved. I thank you so much for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. This will be your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time. To those whom are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer personal readings on my Patreon. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it will lead you to my Patreon website. Without further ado, let us tap in and find out why were you spiritually led here? What is here for you, beloved? Why did you resonate with the title? And why did your own YouTube algorithm present you with this message? Let us hop in and talk to God, okay? Channeling a prophetic vision here, okay? It's like I see somebody, this is crazy. I see somebody that has um, multiple candles lit. It's like somebody, I see like somebody has an altar here. I see an altar, and this altar has multiple pictures of you here, and candles lit and like dead plants or you know feathers like this person has a lot to this altar but the highlight of the altar is like there's pictures of you here somebody has an altar with pictures of you yeah so this altar this person they continuously practice some form of ritual here okay this ritual serves them in a way of like they do some form of ritual to bring you back into their life okay yeah we have the world we have aquarius leo scorpio um energy here and taurus energy we also have the eight of swords here we have gemini energy yeah so this person like they always find themselves in the energy of trying to do rituals to bring you back into their life okay um this could be an ex-lover an ex-friend um an act and a, a family member that you're no longer connected to here okay take it how it resonates beloved we have the king of pentacles to the six of pentacles double taurus energy we also have capricorn energy as well as virgo energy so you have somebody here that's constantly performing rituals on an altar an altar that they created these rituals that they perform right they make this person hallucinate a lot like this person oftentimes find them, finds themselves hallucinating about things that aren't real or untrue or aren't realistic it's like the more this person 
does these rituals, it affects them, all right? And it affects them in such a way that these hallucinations are caused by these rituals here. This person is invested in doing this. It's something that they do repetitively as a routine. It's something that they do repetitively as a way of getting what they want out of you, out of the situation. This person doesn't feel okay within themselves if they're not doing anything to lure you back into their life. If they're not saying or acting a certain type of way to lure you back into their life. So they always have to be doing something that makes them feel like, okay, maybe it'll work this time. Or maybe this person will reach out. Maybe this, maybe that. But like I said, the only effect that this has on this person is like this person is having heavy hallucinations here. These hallucinations are making this person see things that aren't there. Like this person would be chilling and they would swear that they heard something. Or they would be chilling and they swear that they heard your voice or you spoke to them or your spirit was speaking to them. Like things like that. Like they swear that you guys have some form of telepathic communication here. You reach them in some form of way. Some They feel your touch or they smell this of you or they see you. Like this person, like, yeah, it's a lot. So this person here, the more they do these rituals here on their altar, they perform all these rituals using your pictures. It's like, that's what's causing all these hallucinations at the end of the day. And the more they do this, the more deeper the hallucinations become. The hallucinations, they deepen the more this person does this here. The more they perform these rituals, okay? So, okay, we have the King of Swords here. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. Mind you, we have the King of Pentacles here. And then we have the Seven of Cups. So, this person, they have this whole form of understanding. This form of understanding has to do with the fact that they view themselves as your match or as your counterpart, your soulmate, your divine um, twin, your twin flame. This person views themselves like that. But as much as that's the case, this person, they don't see it in themselves that they are being it's like they don't see the cycle in this. They don't see the crazy in this at all. Like at all. When this person evaluates what they do and the fact that they still continue to do it, it just, it says a lot about the fact that this person here, they've actually programmed themselves, conditioned themselves to believe that you and them is like this. You and them are meant to be. That's what they convince themselves of, like literally here. You think that because you're not seeing someone, right, hearing from this person or communicating with them, or you think that like because of the way that they present themselves to you, they're sane-minded or they're, they're just doing their own thing. But this person here, Somebody's just here. Yeah, somebody's like crazy or psycho here. This person has so many manic episodes that are a derivative of these hallucinations. Like this person, they find themselves, it's like manic episodes in such a way that they find themselves in um, situations in their life where they swear they saw someone like you. Or they swear they felt you. They swear they saw you in their dreams and you spoke and you, you said this. They swear that like they just heard your voice. Or they swear that like this and that. It's like, it just, it just like down the rabbit hole, right? Down the rabbit hole. 
They have all of these reasons that they are associating and attaching to your identity. This happened, that happened, I felt this, I felt that, Think. I think about this, I think about that, and they attach it to you. They attach it to your identity, all right? They literally convince themselves, program themselves, condition themselves to do this to the point where it becomes real to them. Something is so real to this person. And when I look at these energies here, I see, I feel like you are living a completely different reality or you are living in a completely different reality when it comes to the situation. That's the sad thing of it. Oh, that's the sad truth. Where this person is at with everything, you are not even there with it at all. So we have the Six of Cups, all right? Seven of Cups, we have the Six of Cups here. Okay, so we have Libra energy, double Aquarius and double Gemini energy. We also have double, triple Scorpio energy here. But yeah, beloved, this energy of a person, ooh, like, it's like they are, there is, so there is the experience of you, right? Like, however way this person experienced you, everything they felt, everything they thought, they never let go of it. No matter what happened or what, what transpired between you guys, someone is holding on as tightly as ever to every single thing, every single conversation, every single encounter, every single this, every single that. It's, it's like they, it, it's something they never released. It's like they wrapped in it, they consumed. Like someone is like, yeah, drowning almost. It's to the point where even if it even if like they experienced you at a certain time in life or a certain point of life, that rational way of thinking about it that okay, this happened long ago, or this happened and like it's no longer in my present reality, it doesn't exist anymore. It's not registering here. Someone is not processing something here. The separation, the ending, the closing off this chapter this person is not getting it they're not getting it at all like it's almost the point where the more they try to dwell on the situation the more delusional they become i would it's like you have no clue what this person is feeling you have no clue what they're thinking it has nothing to do with the truth of the actual situation it has everything to do with the reality and the world that they've created within their mind within their heart within their spirit that has to do with this situation here someone has this person literally created a new reality a new truth of this whole thing here Okay, they feel like they have to get you back into their life. They, they're not content with just not doing anything about the fact that you are no longer in their life. They always feel like they have to do something. Something needs to be done. Okay, now whether they're going to someone to get this done also, right? Based on this altar here that was created, whether there's someone else that they included in this to get this done or they're just doing it themselves based on whatever they think they know or research, you know. This person here, they just all up in that altar, man. They all up in that altar. Even recent pictures of you, recent in a way that beef, it's like after you, after the separation, after the ending, after the closing of this chapter, all right? the cycle like they're using recent pictures old pictures 
Like someone is d d digging deep, trying to lure you back into their life, trying to make. <sighs> it's like this person is trying to manipulate your free will here. They're trying to bring you back into their life by force. They're trying to manipulate your free will. You returning back into this person's life, hypothetically speaking, right? Not the truth or like, it's like, if you think about it, if you were to ever return into this person's life, let's say this works or something, it wouldn't be real to begin with. You'd be there because of what they are doing to your energy, not because you want to be there, right? Not because this per you want to be with this person. No, it would be because uh, it's, it would be manipulation. Like someone is disgusting here. I'm sorry to say, like, but this is a very disgusting. It's very creepy. It's like this person does not want to let your energy go. They don't want to let the experience of you die. They want to always relive it. All right, so that it has new breath, even if it's a, a memory, they want to always have it within themselves so that it has new breath, whatever they do, wherever they are. Like, you'd be surprised, like, beloved, like, someone is like not okay here, like, someone is not right. So the more you, the more time passes, you think that this person, they be doing them or whatever you see, whatever you hear, it looks like they doing them and you know, but the truth of it or the truth of the matter is like this person, they've been working on some rituals here. They've been doing this. Like there's never a point in time where this person was okay and content with you leaving their life or with the departure of you or you not being present in their life and their reality. They, have never been okay with that. So because of that, they've always tried to alter the outcome. They've always tried to change the results of everything. This person has been heavily manipulating your energy, like heavily here. For some reason, this person, like, they just can't let you go. Like, they just can't do it. And the more this person, look at this, we have the hangman to the tower. It's like the more they stay in this energy, the more delusional they become. The more they stay in this energy, the more programmed and conditioned and convinced they become of this situation. Telling themselves that it's something that it's not. Now they're living in that truth, in that reality that they created. Not the truth and the reality of the actual situation itself. If, you, if, if somebody were to tell this person that... If, if, if somebody were to tell this person something outside of what they were already told themselves about this whole thing, this person might as well just lose it and snap. All this person wants to hear is reassurance and validation about this whole situation. They don't want to get the point of like, yo, this is over. Yo, this will never happen or ever be. So for some of you, you've been feeling this in your energy, okay? For some of you, you've been getting intuitive downloads, okay? And even if you haven't been experiencing any of that, just know somebody be playing with your energy here. Old pictures, new pictures here. They thinking, okay, if they use the new pictures, it's going to conjure up the new energy and like it's going to affect you because it's like, it's the new energy they're gonna manipulate with the old energy, try and make you think of the old energy and then manipulate it into your new energy. Like, this person is trying to tap into your energetic sphere, your auric field, okay? So just, yeah, you needed to be aware of that here. Somebody is psycho, somebody is crazy here, okay, crazy. I mean called to end this message here. This was your message from God, Ra, Allah, Source, the Divine. I'm grateful for your time and I thank you for joining me on the Prophetic Vessel Show. To those who are keen or interested in becoming members of my Patreon, on my Patreon,
Patreon, I offer weekly sign readings for $10 per month based on love as well as spiritual path. I also offer on my Patreon personal readings. For $50 per month, you get a personal reading from me every month based on love, spiritual path, as well as career and finances. You'll find the link to my Patreon listed in my description box below. You can also join my Patreon by typing what is on the screen via Google. Search it and it'll lead you to my Patreon website. I thank you all for everything and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.